Today's daily dose of math is making a drawing of a cube using cavalier perspective. The rules for cavalier perspective are listed here and we'll go over those at the end after we've made our drawing. The cube I'm going to draw has sides that are three centimeters in length. This graph paper has squares with sides that are half a centimeter in length. So representing three centimeters will cover six squares. This is the front face of my cube. The next thing I have to do is start drawing the receding axes. And I'm going to choose to draw those at a 45 degree angle, one of the commonly accepted angles for Cavalier perspective. That means from each of these three corners, I'm going to draw a line at this angle. I'll put all three of those lines on at once. Now I can take away this angle measurement. Notice the length of these lines. The front facing side of the cube has sides that are three centimeters in length. But the receding edges are drawn to be one and a half centimeters in length. Now I need to draw these other two sides. And my cube drawing is mostly complete. The three remaining edges that are not drawn yet have to be drawn with dotted lines because they would not be visible in the real cube. They'll look something like this. So this is a three centimeter side length cube drawn with cavalier perspective. One face is parallel to the plane of the drawing. That's this front square, the first square I drew. The axes for the height and width are perpendicular, as you're used to seeing with graph paper. The depth axis forms a 30 to 45 degree angle. I chose a 45 degree angle. The receding axes are reduced in size to about 50%. Mine are exactly 50%, 1.5 centimeters instead of three. The non-visible edges are drawn with dotted lines. Figures that are parallel to the plane are not distorted. Besides the front face, which is not distorted because it's lying on the plane, we have the back face, and that's also not distorted. It's still a square three centimeters in side length. But the other figures, which is the other four sides of this cube, the left side, the right side, the top side, and the bottom side, all of these are distorted so that they look like parallelograms, but we know they represent squares. This has been the first drawing of a cube in Cavalier Perspective, today's Daily Dose of Math. Please like, subscribe, and share.